But as a chronic masturbator and porn addict, it helped me with my performance in bed. I don't know if you care to hear my opinion about that or not. Like, <laughs> like yeah, dude, I really wanna hear your chronic masturbation stories. What's up guys, in this video we're gonna show you the type of mindset that you need to avoid at all costs because it will ensure that you have no success with women and life in general. In order to really demonstrate this point, I'm gonna share with you an interaction I had with one of the most pathetic guys who has ever slid into my DMs. So what is this mindset that I'm talking about? And I'm talking about a victim mindset. This is when you see yourself as victim. And I see this on all sides of the spectrum. I see this amongst feminists and the social justice warriors. They're like, oh, the reason I don't have any success in life is because of men and the patriarchy, right? And we can all laugh at that. However, it's also prevalent in the manosphere. And they do the same exact thing Thing, only they attribute all their problems to feminism. The reason that I don't have the kind of dating life I want is because women are this, women are that, and because of feminism. And there's elements of truth to it. Yes, feminism isn't the best thing. You know, there's some fucked up things that happen in society. The problem is that when you see yourself as a victim, and it doesn't matter what are you a victim of, as soon as you start seeing yourself a victim, having success becomes really, really hard because a victim mindset is very, very addictive. You get these dopamine highs every time someone validates your reality. And that point you subconsciously you don't even want results like if you see yourself as a victim because of feminism that's the reason that you can't get laid or because of your looks right if someone offers you a strategy and it's like hey listen you can do this and this and this you can get a date you might consciously be like uh, okay I'll try it but subconsciously it's like no I don't want to do this I want to keep being a victim because again my brain is rewarding me every time someone validates my reality and in order to really demonstrate this I'm gonna share with you a really really pathetic interaction I had with a guy so the context is is that I actually did a debate with this person, he came on my channel, and quite often my black pill debates start off with 20 minutes of debate and 40 minutes of a free coaching session, right? Because usually I wind up feeling really bad for these guys, I'm like, okay, dude, like I can help you. And the, you know, the ironic thing is, almost never are these guys really bad looking. They're actually usually either average or above average looking. And this guy was no different. He was a decent looking dude. He wasn't a male model, but he was certainly not a fucking whatever the opposite of a chat is. He was not an ugly guy. He was an average looking guy, but his vibe and attitude was so bad. And he had literally one of the worst victim mindsets I ever seen. So again, I offered to help him for free. I was like, listen, dude, uh, you know, I'll happily, you know, tell you what kind of photos to get, and then I will go through your photos. I'll help you come up with a good Tinder profile and prove to you that the issue is not your looks, right? So I gave it to him. And whenever I do that, they're always like, oh, I don't know, man, I can't afford you. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm not charging you a single penny. Like, you don't have to pay me anything, right? I'll do this for you for free because I want to disprove you're a really bizarre version of reality, right? And if someone offers you free coaching, right, it seems like a no-brainer. Why would you not take it? You have nothing to lose. Again, victim mindset. So let's take a look at our interaction. So this was after the debate. So this guy was just literally annoying the shit out of me. And make sure you guys watch until the very end because this conversation is gonna be ridiculous. So this is on TikTok messages. So he's just like, again, like when I offered to help him for free, I meant like help him as a profile. I didn't mean like be his BFF and be his therapist, right? I'm not qualified for that, nor do I wanna do that. Uh, so here he's telling me about Darius M and he's like, oh dude, you know, I think the problem is my stat lack of status. Uh, so this is where the conversation kicks off. He's like, no, he's right. You underestimate your status and looks my status. I'm like, lol, what status do you think I have? We already talked about that in the video we did. Your PUA dating coach, similar to girls who look at guys and label them player based on their looks, claim to hate them but still fuck them, backward human beings, because I'm a PUA dating coach. And this this to me is the most absurd notion ever. The fact that, the, that because I'm a PUA dating coach, I have some kind of status. In reality, it's literally the opposite of that. You think girls are turned on by the fact that I do pickup advice? No, quite often when they find out about my YouTube channel, that works against me, right? So I have to kind of preempt it. Now, as my channel has been growing recently, I think it's become close to neutral, but it's certainly not helping me in any way. I don't have any fucking status. And living in Miami where I live, having 100K on YouTube is the most unimpressive thing ever. No one gives a shit. There's people way more popular than me all everywhere and people way richer than me, right? And furthermore, quite often, most girls, they don't even know about my YouTube channel or about what I do because I'm vague because if they start going through my videos and they see some negative SJW reaction videos against me, it's gonna work against me, right? So this is just such an absurd notion. So I send him one of these, it says me a question mark. I'm like, I have no PUA status, man. That's purely a figment of your imagination. You have the status of a businessman, you're choosing to also ignore that. Again, like no one gives a shit. The amount of money I make is nothing in Miami. Compared to the millionaires I compete against in Miami, my business a joke, 
Plus half of the chicks I bang don't even know I have a business. So you pull off your looks and some credit to the staff, see your overall, see like notice the rationalization that's going on here. He's just looking for any reason why my device is not gonna work for him. I'm like, dude, your rationalization is off the charts. You also have to admit that your photos are altered on online dating. I offer to literally help you for free. No idea what you mean by this, which is nice of you, but I doubt it would do much. Exactly why I would never pay anyone to do this. I like, lost such a diffused attitude. It happens over time. You obviously ain't live a life of constant rejection no matter what you do. So again, notice the victim mindset. Like I want you guys to literally count every time that he acts like a victim, right? So now we're gonna, you're gonna go to Instagram because I stopped engaging him on TikTok and he started blowing up my DMs. Yo, I'd be on Omegle asking for advice and I still get no bitches. So I decided to try an experiment. I was just gonna say, okay, every time he gives me some victim bitching, right? Again, you never wanna be the guy that's bitching. Never, ever bitch, never ever complain. Even if your bitching is justified, it doesn't help you. It just reinforces the victim mindset. And as we're gonna establish, you wanna be literally the opposite of a victim. You never ever wanna be a victim. Uh, doesn't do much, thanks for trying to help anyway, I guess. I just don't respond. Nah, you didn't actually do anything, Law, so I ain't no point in me saying, trying to help. This guy's so negative, I'm like, okay, Law, you know I'm going to come back, but I wouldn't be surprised if you want money this time. Like, dude, I don't want your fucking money. I know you don't have any money. I'm not gonna ask you for it. Nah, I moved on, man. I got you. I didn't see a sense of urgency from you anyway. Not like there was incentive for you to do so anyway. But I already know you really didn't care. I just like when dudes like you say, I care about helping when in reality you don't. <laughs> I'm like, okay, man, point proven. I'll figure out how to get sex eventually, I guess. I doubt it though. <laughs> I'll figure out how to do it. I doubt it though, right? So he's already undermining himself. I use the same format you use in your videos and get no results. Literally about looks, you just underestimate yours on top of catfishing your lifestyle, but whatever works, I guess. I don't see how I catfish my lifestyle. I'm like, okay, you're supposedly a sex coach too. I like to share my situation since most of the advice on content sex coaches, red pillars create doesn't apply to me. It'd be a very interesting outlook for viewers, especially for entertainment. Bro acts like he cares on camera for the viewers, but doesn't care in real life, such a scumbag. Literally, this guy's confusing the fact that I don't want to listen to him bitching. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not your therapist. I'm not here to listen to bitching. And I'm certainly not gonna validate your reality. I'm also not interested in arguing with you over DMs. So that's why I'm not responding. I offered to help you with your profile. I didn't offer to fucking debate black pill philosophy with you in my DMs. I'm like, dude, I offered to help you. The offer's still on the table, but stop blowing up my DMs with nonsense. I remember what you recommended, so I'll go back to the video. Like, I'm like, to help you with your profile. The sex thing is a nonsense. It's legitimate. If you get the picks I recommend, I'll help you pick which ones to use. Word, kudos if you keep your word. But as a chronic masturbator and porn addict, it helped me with my performance in bed. I don't know if you care to hear my opinion about that or not. Like, <laughs> like yeah, dude, I really wanna hear your chronic masturbation stories. I'm like, it just wouldn't make sense for me to have you on for a second time unless it was like you followed my advice and it worked. Well, obviously you want to promote results for your business. I'm not willing to help you gain more positive publicity. <laughs> like, this guy is so obsessed with proving his narrative that PUA dating coaches are scams, that that's literally all his mind is focused on. He's ignoring the big thing, which is, dude, I'm trying to help your ass for free. You haven't helped me with anything so far yet, and I don't plan to. I offer to help you for free. It's up to you if you wanna take it or not, but I'm not interested in having you on to give your theories on masturbation. He's like, I always thought about taking pictures with me dancing in all dance types. It hasn't worked for me before. I used to picture of me dipping my dance instructor in the last, right? Do you guys wanna know why he wasn't getting any matches on Tinder? Because his pro profile photo sucked. I'm gonna leave them out for privacy sakes, but if you guys are clever, you can figure out who this person was. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It was not the last black pillar. It was before that. Uh, he's like, all right, cool. I don't have the screenshots of my dating profiles back from 2009 to 2020, but I have photos of dancing and well, no results. So black pill makes sense for me. All this PUA, red pill, I, I just don't. I'm like, like, notice every message. He's not asking for advice. He's not trying to get information. It's just him rationalizing. All he wants to do is for me to validate his his black pill victim mentality, and because I'm not doing that, he's chasing that validation, because that's what gets him those dopamine highs, is when people validate him and say, yeah, dude, the problem is your looks, the problem is feminism, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm like, dude, you can keep doing whatever you like, I could care less. If you don't want, if you don't want help, then I won't try to convince you. Exactly my point, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> Like I'm supposed to, dude, people come to me for advice all the time and I'm supposed to try to beg and plead with you in order to take my advice? Like, no, dude, like the offer's on the table. I'll answer all your questions. I'll help you come up with a profile, but I'm not gonna play therapist, which is why all your content about help, wanting to help others is so bullshit. I'm like, offer to help you. You're saying no, what do you expect? You want money, corrupt snake, again with the money. I'm like, me try to talk you into it. I'm not saying no. I'm like literally offering to help you for free. Like this guy's so obsessed with the idea of like fucking being scammed. That literally 
clearly he's missing that this is all free. Uh, I'm saying it hasn't worked in the last before, but if you're gonna insult me, the offer is off the table. So this is again, going back to boundaries. He's like, this is exactly why I would never pay any one of you people. And if I do whatever it is you say, results will not happen. Like. Do you think he's gonna get results with this attitude? He's literally so determined to fail, especially through text. It's literally if they see you as attractive or not. I'm like, well, dude, I'm not asking you for your money, uh, but I'm not your therapist. Stop bitching in my DMs, right? And again, this is tough love. Like, these guys want you to validate their victim mentality. Don't do it. If you have a friend who's a victim, don't validate the reality. You're actually doing them a disservice. They might be like, oh my God, thank you, but you're actually doing them a disservice. Do not validate the victim uh, reality. I've had women literally tell me they only saw me because they thought I was cute law. How does that, so how does that, doesn't that contradict your black belt theory that you're too ugly? That's it, so all this self-improved BS is dumb. Just think about that statement, self-improvement is dumb. What? Uh, I'll help you get a good Tinder profile, but I'm not going to cuddle you. Looks and status is what gets you results. Again, he's going back to this. I'm not a faggot home, but he just said that some girls thought he was cute. So, you know, he has the looks too as well. I'm like, Okay, I don't care about your black belt theories. You can either take the advice or I give you or not. It's up to you. And when the results don't happen, then what? Are you gonna show that publicly? Like he's, he's already convinced that the results are not gonna happen, right? And when the results don't happen, what are you gonna do? I'm just trying to imagine in what I would do in this situation. Like, let's say I was talking to Michael Sartain, and Michael's like, yeah, man, you know, I noticed that you don't really do much social circle game. I'll help, I'll help you with social circle game. I'll give you advice. I would never in a million years be like, oh Michael, but when it doesn't work, what are we gonna do, right? I'll be like, awesome dude, okay, here are my questions. What should I do first, what should I do number two? But again, that's because I'm not a victim. I try to be very proactive. Even things I haven't achieved, I try to work on getting there instead of trying to find reasons why it's not gonna work. Uh, who cares? He's like, people on the internet do, you don't want negative publicity, I'm guessing. I'm like, why don't you stop asking me hypotheticals and just try the advice, or don't, I don't really care. Just to show people that literally some people don't have a chance sometimes. <laughs> so they can save their money. And the sad thing is this guy totally has a chance. He's a decent looking guy, but his victim mindset is ensuring that he fails. Gotta stop people like you from selling the dream. And he's so obsessed with like fucking like, I don't know, getting some revenge on these PUAs. It's like a PUA fucked his mom or something like that. He's like so focused on it. To me, it's so bizarre, this weird obsession that some of these black pillars have with like exposing PUAs. It's like this weird trauma that they haven't dealt with and they just basically project their negativity on I guess dating coaches. You get hoes now because of your status. <laughs> That's the most absurd statement ever. I'm like, okay, my offer is off the table. Not really smart to keep insulting someone who's offering to help you for free. So yeah, like, you know, I, I offer to help him, but if he, he's insulted me uh, several times now, not gonna fucking do it. Not gonna put up with that shit, zero chance. I'm like, that's cool. It, it's not, it, it's, it was not gonna work anyway. How many times did he say it's not gonna work anyway? Like a dozen? The point was to prove to you that your shit doesn't work for everyone. Yeah, you haven't tried it, dude. All you did was bitch, probably not with your super negative attitude, and that some dudes need to save their money and use it elsewhere. Dude, you don't even have any money. Uh, all you proved during the debate is that you're a miserable human being. <laughs> Uh, it's true, I mean, he seems like a very miserable human being. I mean, I feel bad for him, but since he was being a massive dickhead and asshole to me, I don't really. Uh, he's like, I have positive attitude in the past thinking I would get results. I offered to help you because I felt bad. Losing weight, getting into hobbies. God forbid you lose weight and get into hobbies, uh, but I'm not gonna help someone who insults me. And it didn't happen. So I'm like, so have fun being an incel. <laughs> this is gonna be kind of trolling. Because I'm just not what women want. Uh, yeah, do you think women want a guy who is the biggest negative Nancy? Do you think women are attracted to guys who just bitch and complain and bitch and complain. Actually, funny enough, when we had our debate, literally he said, yeah, man, I understand. You know, I, I go on dates with these girls and I start telling them about how much, you know, how much I'm boring, how much I suck. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. On a date, you're telling a girl that? He's like, yeah, you know, I'm sharing with her, you know, how I feel. I was like, don't fucking go on dates and tell girls how much of a loser you are. Why would you think that's a good idea? You think that's gonna be attractive to girls? He's like, well, the problem is my looks, because if I was a Chad, they wouldn't care. I'm like, no, no one likes a fucking negative little bitch. I'm like, you're a little lucky woman like you for the status and looks, and you want to sell those clowns, these clowns a dream, kill yourself. <laughs> kill myself, okay, man, yeah, I'll get right on that. At this point, I stopped engaging with this guy, because clearly he's a very, very sad human being. And again, I kind of feel bad for him a little bit, but I kind of don't, because he's a massive piece of shit as well. Like to me, it just blows my mind that someone, you know, like someone fairly popular, like, you know, a lot of people want my coaching. I'm offering to give it to you for free because I feel sympathy and pain and the pity for you. But like, instead of like taking me up on that, your notion is just to fucking just complain and complain and complain and bitch. And then you think insulting me is gonna, you know, 
be the way to get there? Like, fuck that. But again, why was he doing that? Why was he doing all this? Again, because of his victim mindset, his subconscious was ensuring that he fails. He probably wasn't doing this consciously, it was his subconscious, right? It, his, his image, self-image was being threatened because it, like if, if, for example, I get him matches on Tinder, he might get laid, and that threatens his victim self-image, so he was determined to sabotage it. And that's the saddest thing about being a victim. Once you adopt a victim mindset, you will start self-sabotaging yourself to ensure that you don't succeed. So you guys have to make sure that you never ever become like this guy. Avoid being a victim at all costs. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and shows that you're not a negative little bitch by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. Because on this channel, I'm gonna give you guys content to help you improve. I'm gonna give you practical, no bullshit strategies that will actually get you results. I'm not gonna validate your victim mindset. I'm not gonna be your therapist. I'm gonna give you guys the kind of tough love. And if you enjoy that type of content, then subscribe to the channel. If you don't, well, maybe you can hit up this guy for coaching. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.